What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mullet Man. Watch this video. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. We just hit 100,000. Look. Look at this tarantula. I haven't seen a tarantula in a long time. Oh my gosh. That is a toy spider. That's a big old tarantula. As you can see, I'm at the lake. My wife Angel just freaked out over the spider. It's my dad's birthday, so me and my wife met my mom and dad at the lake today. Uh, so my dad just launched the boat. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so we're out here after some stripers today. The lake is flooded. You can't even put in at the normal boat ramp. He put in like on the road, so. We're going to go get in the boat and uh, hopefully catch a few fish. Breakfast of champions. jig today. We're gonna just try it out. We don't really know what the fish are doing yet. It's been flooded for so long. We just gotta get out here and pretty much throw everything, see what they're biting. I saw a few fish pop and I threw this top water out and got a hit in the first cast. So I'm gonna pull the down riggers up real quick and see if we can get some top water fish. Huh? Birthday fish. Beeper. I don't know about a good one, but. On the jig, on the hair jig. I didn't think they were gonna bite those paddle little tails. paddle tails. Little sartreuse and red hair jig with a swim bait on the back, paddle tail swim bait on the back. 19 and a half. Keep a keep a. Put them in the live well. Show them that graph right there. Alright guys, we made a move. We weren't catching anything where we caught the first fish. Just got over here and hooked up. Keep 
keeper, keeper. That's a fat one. Nice little striper. Oh yeah, he's 20. 21. With the lake being flooded, it has uh, been pretty tough. It's been a struggle to find fish. It's hard to even tell what's fish on the graph because there's so many trees and debris floating around in the water. So there's kind of trolling areas that we've always caught them in before. and running creek channels and stuff and picking one here and there so probably not gonna be a numbers day but we'll catch dinner angel's got one is he on yeah, yeah real good one just pull your rod back up He bit that sartreuse jig. Another keeper. Guys, what this, what we're doing right now is called trolling. These are called downriggers. Basically, what we're doing is dropping our bait down. Um, these fish are in like 22 to 25 foot of water. So this weight on the end of the downrigger, uh, it takes your line down. So you let your pair jig go back 15, 20 foot. And you take your Grab your line. Take this. It's a big weight right here. It has a clip connected to it. You connect your line in that clip. And then while opening the line, opening the reel and letting down the downrigger at the same time, your bait drops with that weight. We're putting it down about 22 feet right now. Well, it's 10.30. We're calling it a day. It's been pretty slow. We're going to clean these fish up real quick and then uh, go eat some fresh striper for lunch. Striper right there. I'll lay these fish up real quick. Real easy. Spider webs everywhere. Down. Cut through the ribs. Take the skin off. Same thing on this side. Feed the turtles. Come in here and cut the ribs out. And then stripers have a real um, real thick bloodline. 
cut that out. Some people eat it, some people don't. We've never really eaten it, so it's not hard. Take the extra two seconds to clean your fish right. And that is your clean striper. All right, so Angel's gonna, she wants to learn how to clean fish. She's gonna be our uh, fish cleaner from now on. So you wanna make a cut right here? Down. Yep. No, yeah, hold her hand so she can feel your hand. Right. And that's yeah. the bone, right there, the bone? Yep. Keep it down close to the ridge. Stop. No, you didn't do it. You're good. All right. Are you not supposed to do that? No, you're good. All right, now take this and just barely cut it right here. Back, hold on. Push the blades down. Keep going. That's a lot harder than it looks. There you go. That's it. Mm. Clean fish. She did it. Not bad for a first time. I'm gonna try to do it on her own now. Let's see how she does it. The fish is not alive either, just knows. I killed it. There you go. All there is, all the way down. Alright, stop. Now flip that flow. She pretty much did the whole fish by herself. Uno mas, and then we're going to eat lunch. Happy birthday, go catch them. Alright guys, me and Angel are headed home to eat lunch. My parents are staying out on the lake today, just fishing around and hanging out. So, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alright guys, we made it back. It's lunch time. Got me some bell peppers, onion, lemon. We're gonna grill these guys. Orange pepper, I like the orange peppers the best, but all they have is green and red. Just wanna slice these up pretty thin. They're gonna kinda melt in like the onions will. Um, they're super good. With fish. This is one of my favorite ways to cook uh, mahi mahi too. Super good like this. Uh, got your peppers. Take an onion. You don't need the whole thing. Now what you want to do, lay your fish over here in some foil. I already took the pin bones out. I didn't show that when I cleaned them, but there's a set of pin bones that run in these fish right here where that piece is cut out. You want to make sure you get those out of there unless you want to pick through bones. Take some critter glitter and get it at moltman.net. Link will be in the description. Super good on striper. Coat these guys with some critter glitter. Take about a half a stick of butter. Here it comes. Oh, it gets me every time. Cut your butter up into little chunks. And just lay that in the fish. It'll all melt all over. Just like that, take you some green peppers, some red peppers, and some onions. Just 
just like that. Cut your lemon. Put some lemon juice in there with it. Already got the grill going. This is all you have to do. Just wrap it up. Just like that. Put it on the grill like that and uh, shouldn't take too long, just check it. Um, I feel like it's different every time I cook it, but normally it takes about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put this on the grill, see you guys when it's done. Smells so good. This reminds me of the Caymans. They make a, a uh, what is it called? Scotch bonnet snap, uh, Scotch bonnet grouper. And it smells just like this. Take you some rice. This is a straight up Cayman Island dish. This is like one of my favorite ways to eat fish. Take you some rice like that. And Italian dressing. This is all you need. And that is it. This is gonna be amazing. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for all of our blessings and allow us, and allowing us to do what we do every day. And uh, please bless the Smith family as they go through this tough time. In your name, amen. Guys, if you haven't heard, uh, Granger Smith's family, they lost their uh, three-year-old son. So be sure to get over to Granger's site. Uh, they're doing a shirt sale for the cause. So get over there, check it out, and uh, we're going to try this fish. All right. What do you think? Good? Amazing. I've been wanting to do this for a while. That little rice, that little striper. Mm. That is, I think that's like, that is my favorite way to eat fish. It's so good. Mm. You have to try fish this way. Guys, the bow giveaway ends on Thursday. If you haven't seen the bear video, go check out the bear video, I explain what you do, all you have to do, go to maltman.net, any purchase, automatic entry for the bow giveaway. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, that's gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.